Hi everyone. I posted a pretty popular uh, video last month on what professional dancers eat. And I actually had some students try it without success. And I realized I should have included a lot more detail. So I'm going to do that today. Um, I'm going to link below in the description if you want to see that first video, if you missed it. Let's get started. Firstly, I am not a dietitian. If you're here to get eating disorder advice, please click off to the next video. Um, I'm just here to share with you what professional dancers usually eat. Um, as I mentioned in my first video, the vast majority um, practice the kind of popular keto diet, um, which in a nutshell, it minimizes uh, sugars, processed carbohydrates, um, but it's not all like proteins and fats like you would see in an Atkins diet. And as I shared Atkins, I've never seen that successful in a pro dancer long term. Um, in my opinion, the key to long-term stable, um, fit level of fat on your body is minimizing your appetite. Okay. Um, if you get worked up super hungry, then you get prone to binge eating and kind of fall off the wagon, so to speak. Um, and this could be due to insufficient calories, um, insufficient nutrients, um, high glucose spikes is generally what the keto diet tries to focus on minimizing because that makes you hungry. Um, so firstly, there are a lot of keto, quote unquote, prepackaged snacks and meals in the grocery store. Um, chips, shakes, meals, cookies, breads. Um, I do not know any professional dancer who consumes any of those. Um, same thing with the keto recipes online. These tend to be desserts um, or bread substitutes, and they still, in the end, usually um, create a, a, a kind of an insulin spike that you don't want. Um, so I wanna give you a couple examples of misleading packaging so you don't think I'm just making this stuff up. So firstly, I looked up the, uh, what was it called? Oh, Russell Stover uh, chocolate mint patties. Okay, so I compared a um, no sugar keto version compared to the regular version. So firstly, the packaging nutrition label is um, misleading right off the bat in that the um, no sugar version has two patty serving and the regular sugar version has three per patty setting. So if you just look at those um, initial macros, yeah, maybe you would assume it would have a third less of everything. Uh, not true. Um, so the regular Russell Stover mint patty, if I, and I'm evening out the serving size here. So we are comparing apples and apples. Um, would be 165 calories, um, um, 17 grams of carbohydrates, eight grams of fat. Uh, the sugar-free um, actually has 190 calories, so more calories. Um, zero sugar, but 26 grams of carbohydrates, so quite a bit more than the regular. Um, and 12 grams of fat, so quite a bit higher on the fat content. Um, so while you see that fancy package and didn't think, ooh, you keto, I get a treat. No dice, it's actually worse for you on all levels. Um, so, and unlike the uh, Atkins diet, the keto kind of diet genre does not allow you unlimited fat. So you do monitor that somewhat as well. Um, so let's next look at the Slim Fast Keto Meal Replacement Bar. And I do not recommend meal replacement shakes, meal replacement 
anything for long-term weight loss. And here's just an example of one, but whether it says keto or not, I have not seen people um, have successful, long-term, stable weight loss and success with this, okay? Um, so the uh, Slim Fast Keto Meal Replacement Bar only has 190 calories. So firstly, good luck with that. Uh, three. Think if you replace three meals a day, what are you looking at? 570 calories for the day. These are starvation rations, and you will develop very likely, extraordinary um, kind of hunger that's gonna result in binge eating and again, falling off that wagon. Um, it also only provides 33% of your daily protein needs if you were to have these for all three meals. Nowhere near enough protein for a professional active dancer. Um, so this will lead to muscle atrophy, right? Um, and I don't know if you all have seen, there's a TV show in the United States called The Biggest Loser, and it is a weight loss competition. And um, the vast majority of competitors in this program, winners or losers, gain weight, um, gain their weight back, and then even more after the program ends. They also did a long-term study on their basal metabolism, which is kind of the amount of calories your body just kind of burns on its own. And they also had long-term basal metabolism damage, meaning previously perhaps they could maintain um, 120 pounds at 1,500 calories a day. And now they would have to have 1,000 calories a day to maintain that weight. So long-term damaging um, to kind of um, being able to stay on a successful, healthy diet um, plan, okay? Um, let's compare to the Metrics Meal Replacement Bar. And for the record, I do not recommend meal replacement bars at all of any ilk, but I do understand sometimes we get in a pickle. I certainly am I'm not a happy camper if I don't eat all day, so I might have one between lessons if I just don't have time or other resources, but um, the Metrics Meal Replacement Bar has 410 calories, 47 carbohydrates, 30 grams of protein. So at the end of the day, um, you're looking at 240% of the daily protein allowance. So ample protein to keep your um, muscles building. Um, that's 1,230 calories a day. Um, that's not many calories, but that is absolutely enough um, to not develop a crazy overwhelming hunger. Um, so that's more of a maintainable program and, a, and obviously a more gradual weight loss. But bad news bears, any um, dramatic um, crash diet, um, fast results weight loss um, program um, like Atkins, I have seen this, rapid weight loss, very short period of time, it doesn't stick. As soon as the comp's done, they gain it back and then more. Do you wanna look skinny next month for a week? Or do you wanna look fit for the entire rest of your life? I would think the latter. Um, is that as fast of a result? Um, certainly not. Um, but it's more healthy in many ways, including when you crash diet, it's bad for your heart, atrophies your muscles, it's bad for your body. Um, so again, to clarify, we very rarely eat prepackaged foods. I understand this is expensive. This may not cost-wise be an option for everyone, in which case go for fr uh, frozen veggies. That's equally a good choice. And my opinion, not quite as good tasting or texture, but that works. We um, pan fry these in a little bit of olive oil, or we even bake them just, just raw with no oil. Um, same thing, we prepare lean meats the same way. Um, chicken, fish, eggs, um, egg whites especially. Uh, I have a, a friend, Gary McDonald, former World 10 Dance Champion, he suggests um, pan frying radishes 
in a vegetable oil and he says it tastes just like potatoes. Doesn't sound like my cup of tea, but I thought I would share that with you in case it works for you. Um, most of the pro dancers I know um, who are watching their weight also practice intermittent fasting where they basically skip one or two meals a day. That's not my jam, but I just want to be honest with you and what most pro dancers are kind of doing to look the way they do because it's not just their dancing. Um, for me, I, I prefer to snack all day, um, but I do deliberately choose very low glycemic foods, maybe a big squash or if I'm on the hop, I love raw radishes, raw cabbage. I can eat a whole head of cabbage in a single day easily for snacks. Um, if I want something that feels more substantive, but is actually very low calorie, very um, low impact on blood sugar, um, I go for shiratake noodles. If you do eat those guys, um, make sure to rinse them really, really, really well. Um, otherwise, they taste and smell terrible. So do rinse them well. The preservative they keep them in. Eh. Um, almost all of us drink a ton of coffee with either a natural, like a, a dairy or nut-based vegan um, creamer. Um, I'm not saying that's the healthiest of all, but you know, certainly people that are. Um, Fasting all day needs something to keep themselves energized for all their teaching. And so caffeine is the trick for that. Um, I don't know any that use um, any sort of drug to make that happen, um, unless you consider caffeine a drug. Um, so I hope that's been helpful and hopefully given you a little more insight. I'm totally not telling you how to eat. Definitely check with your doctor if you're gonna do any sort of drastic um, change in your health lifestyle to make sure that's best for you because everyone's body is different. So hope that's been helpful. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.